Now, I'd like to highlight how SQL account will do the bad debt relief in compliance to custom Malaysia GST rule on bad debt. First, in order to make best effort, you should always print out statement in customer report statement of account and you can print out a report like this by applying here and print out the statement just like this one with 4, 6 or 12 months aging. You can email it to your client directly from our system. Once you have done that, on month number 5 or 6 and you still have not managed to recover the debt, then you can do a customer due listing letter. Go to due document report here and select make sure you group according to customer name select the right date and apply and you will see a listing report appears you can of course print out a report like this and even you can add some neat legal terminology inside to make the warning letter more severe now the warning letter or the overdue letter will clearly say the date the document type, the document number, the terms and the due date and most important of all show the number of aging days. Anything that is more than 180 days will be able to claim for bad debt relief from Custom Malaysia. If it's now more than 180 days, you can now go to GSD return. To prove that this system works clearly, I will go to sales first and click on sales invoice and clearly highlight to you that there is sales invoice that is unpaid at completely in April, in May as well as in June. The April for bad debt relief invoices will be in October and the May will be in November and of course the June in December. Now let's proceed to process the first cycle from April to June. As you can see here, April to June, there is no bad debt relief because it has not reached 6 months. Then let's go to process the second GSD return cycle from July to September. And again, there is no bad debt relief because it has not reached 6 months. However, on the third cycle I'm processing from October to December, I will have a bad debt relief is because April, May and June invoices now will be bad debt relief because no cust the customer have not paid me and these tax amounts add up together that I can claim back from custom will be 1367 ringgit and 66 cents. But if you pay attention to billing payable here, there is also bad debt relief. This bad debt relief is actually six months ago. These are the invoices my supplier have issued me, but I have not paid them for the past six months. Therefore, the input tax I have claimed earlier, which is 1002, now I have to pay back to custom because I have not paid my supplier. This is only fair is because six months your client, your customer did not pay you, you can claim back your output tax. But at the same time, six months you did not pay your supplier, therefore the input tax you have claimed earlier now have to be paid back. The claimable minus the payable. If I press on OK, you will be able to clearly see that the claimable is actually 167 ringgit and 66 cents. 1003 minus 1002, that is the balance figure. Now, if we go to our GST 03, you will be able to clearly highlight it on item number 8. Let's enlarge it a little bit and you will be able to see this is the amount that is claimable now if you choose not to claim it you can take no and it will be deposited with customs for future refund